Welcome back folks to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda for the Game Boy Color. I'm Sam Retex and where we last left off we defeated Turtle Rock. So now we are going to the final part of the game since we have all eight instruments. So before we even do that we need to go back to um, May Village so that we can read something. But I will take that guy's heart. So here we go. We're going to use the uh, magic rod since we got it now. And we're causing some fires to everybody. Monster kill. Thanks for the heart. Alright, so let's go. Yes, let's kill you, burn you. Ah, I love burning them moblins. That's what they get for um, stealing things and whatnot. They caused enough trouble as it is. So I'm burning thy moblins before I beat this game. Anyway, let's keep going. Burn you. Burn you, burn you. Right, so let's go down. Just keep moving on because we need to defeat this game. Alright, so now we're going to go down. Oh, not this way. Oh, yeah, we were. Okay, yeah. Alright, now let's... Hmm, hi, kids. Burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn. That's where you get for only throw your ball. Burn, you're supposed to be protecting this village just like me. You burn. <laughs> Alright, enough. So why are we here? We are here to read a book. Yes, a book. Dark Secrets and Mysteries of Covenant. Do you really want to read it? Yes. Round and round the passageways of the egg. Ah, let's jot, jot this down. It's left, up, right, up, left, up, right, up. Should be memorable, right? Because it's in a pattern. Feels like you're playing the ocarina in that sort of pattern. Which is true, look at it. Yeah, um, left, up, right, up, left, up, right, up. That should be easy. But yeah, um... We're just jotting it down as we talk, and yeah, let's repeat that again. Left, up, right, up, left, up, right, up, left, up, right, up, left, up, right, up. Okay, I shouldn't be stupid enough to not remember that, but yes, we have jotted down the, 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 on my phone just in case, but I don't think I will forget it, so yes, we have finished jotting everything down. Hmm? This book reeks of secrets. Well, it is a secret book, Link. But now we've got that done, what we're supposed to do... Burn, kids. Burn! <laughs> no, not burn the kids. But um, now we are supposed to um, go to... Oh, yeah. Go to the uh, Mount Tamaranch. Sorry. But, yeah. Let's go. And what we need to do is equip the power bracelet so that we can pick up and grab the items that stand in my way, like this one, and this one. Now we go up this way, uh, oh, wait, yeah, go this way. Um, we pick up this rock. Yeah, we're just gonna take a short way. I could have taken the portal there, but I chose not to. Because this way is much more um, quicker. But let's go. All right, is it up here? Um, I don't think it is. Uh, up here? Uh, no. Ah, that's where you play the second song and then you can go there. Maybe that's a quick way. Nope, that's not the right way. Maybe that, I should have done that, but nah. I'd rather do this. Right, now let's, um, Cemetery Ukiku Prairie. That's wrong. So, yes, I was going... This is the right way to go now. Go up this way. Dodge this guy, because we can't do anything. Well, we can burn it. Jump this way. And just go this way. This is where the Bottle Grotto stage was. Let's pick up this rock. And let's throw it. Never mind. Let's pick up this rock. And throw it. Now let's move, and... Let's equip our sword. Yes, we're going to equip our sword. There we go. Here, here. There we go. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Now we're going to Mount Tamaranch. The music should change once we get up there. But yes, let's equip the rock server and go up. And yes, here we are at Mount Tamaranch. All right, so now we are at Mount Tamaranch. Let's go up and continue on with our adventure. But yes. Now, what are we going to do with this egg? Ah, we got all eight instruments. I know what to do. Let's grab the power bracelet and let's pull on the egg. Let's wake it up. Oh, get up. Oh, eat silly windfish. Get up. Oh, oh. Nope, that's not going to work. Oh, let's do it properly. We're going to play the ballad of the windfish. So, yes, we equip our ocarina and let's go.
Sorry, I stayed quiet for that. Oh look, we opened the egg. Is that it? Oh, hello. The time has come. Yes, it has indeed. I gotta admit that. The windfish awaits. Enter the egg. Hoot hoot. Uh, you see, as a child, um, I really thought that um, the egg completely would crack. So when I saw just this little crack open here, instead of the egg cracking normally, I thought of it to be anticlimactic. I really did, and I still do to this day. It felt a little bit anticlimactic that that hole opened. But yes, um, we've played the ocarina for the last time, so we won't need it. And um, we're going to enter this egg, because this is where the windfish is sleeping. You'd expect the windfish to wake up and then that's game done, right? You were wrong. So yes, what we're going to do for the very last time, because this is the finale of this game, is enter this egg. But yeah, I really felt that um, that was anticlimactic. So here we go, we have the windfish's egg. And what we're going to do is actually show you something. Well, not show you anything, but we're going to equip the um, rod and we're going to equip the rocks further. And we're going to go this way. Can we light up the hall? The answer is no, because it's too high. Try on the other side, same thing, can't do it. And now we are going to obviously fall down this hole here. Wah! There we go. And now we can do the secret, right? Hopefully the secret is actually right. So if we remember it's... We go to the left. Yes, we go left. So we stand here. And walk to the left. And then we walk up. And then take a right. And then up. And then we take a left, and up, and then another right. Yeah, I believe it's another right. Wait a minute. Huh? I'm starting to think I did it wrong. Did I? Let's try again. Left, up, right, up, left, and then you go up again. And then you go to the right, and then you go up. Okay, this is pretty weird. I'll go right, up, left, up, and then right, up, then left, and then up. And then we're going to take the right, right, or go up. No, we did it wrong. I'm kind of confused. I did it right, so let's do it again. Left, up, right, up, left, up, right, and then up. God, what was all of that about? That was confusing. I did it right the first time. But you know what? We finally here. After a little bit of confusion, maybe it was the way I... Maybe it's because I was too slow, so it resetted the puzzle. Maybe that was it, but yeah. You don't have to worry. You heard that sound, and you see this part here. You don't need to worry. You've done it right. So now all you need to do is obviously fall down the hole. But you're thinking, is this really a trap? Well, it is to an extent, but um, you have to. Whoa! Okay, so we fall down the hole, and here we are. And we are ready to face Nightmare, but not without its dialogue. We are born of nightmares to take over this world. We made the Windfish sleep endlessly. If the Windfish doesn't wake up, this island will never disappear. Is that so? We would have been the masters of this place, but you had to come here and disrupt our plans. <laughs> you can never defeat us. Let's rumble! Bring it on. Alright, so here we go. This is the nightmare of the windfish. The windfish is sleeping and the nightmare has caused all this havoc. It's quite obvious that we don't belong in this dream. Because everything was going to plan for nightmare. Until we came along, that is. Nightmare is a shape-shifting enemy, which I, which is a concept I truly like at the time. With this game, and to this day, I still do. The first form of Nightmare is a blob, but it's called the Nightmare of Giant Blob. Uh, yeah, Giant Bot, sorry. 
This enemy resembles the giant bot from Zelda 2 Adventures of Link. All you have to do is use the magic powder to beat him, which we've already done. Now we are facing Agnaim, and Agnaim is not the real villain of um, Zelda, um, Zelda Link to the Past, but this is definitely a facade of him and it resembles him as you can see. Link really didn't like this enemy and it's bringing him back to life and as you see, to beat him, he's gone throwing beams and you just have to use your sword to knock him out. It's just like a game of tennis. Oh, we should really should have been closer, but yeah. Um, his appearance in Link to the Past, as you know if you've played that game, he has odd fingers and huge white eyes. But you can't see it here, you only can see his odd fingers and um, he, um, white eyes, because um, Nightmare has changed into this form. We need to be a bit closer, so there we go. Um, so Nightmare does shapeshift into many enemies before he eventually faces final form. This is the second of his final form, and we've already beaten him, so... The next form is Moldorm, and this enemy is the same one as you've seen in this game. Its weak point is basically shiny and you have to hit it with the sword. So what I'm going to do is just basically um, swing my sword attack on it, so because it's the strongest way to beat it. If we had the red tunic, then um, we probably would have beaten it already with two swings, but um, I've used the blue uh, one for extra defense because um, we've already upgraded our offense by getting all the seashells, as you see them in the game. Alright, so let's just attack. There we go. And there he's beaten. And the next form is actually Ganon. Oh yes, Ganon. It's just the same as Agnorim from, um, I think I've pronounced that name wrong, but yes, the same form, it's the same uh, really as Agnorim, it's the um, Ganon from A Link to the Past. And um, he wields an axe, as you can see, and he throws it at you. You can defeat Ganon easily with the Pegasus boots and um, a sword, the sword, or you could just use the swinging attack. As you can see, he uses bats to try and attack, and you just have to dodge him and dodge the axe, and then swing your sword. You know, the swing in the sword is more powerful, and Ganon is down. And then the next form is L Lamola, fast-moving enemy that's clearly bumping into us, and the um, best way to beat him is with a boomerang, a, ha a hook shot, or a magic rod. I'm going to, in this choice in the matter, I'm probably going to use the magic rod, because I haven't used it. This, And there you go, just one hit. And in the final form, it's going to be called Dehul, or Desi Eye, or Def Eye, which is the final form of Nightmare. This is the final boss of the game. It's considered to be his true form. Of course, you have to be very careful with this enemy, as it provides quite a challenge, as you can see. You have to jump at him, um, constantly jump while he's um, swinging around, so it's pretty um, simple. And um, Delhi inspired designer Vari, Vati, I think that's the name. I think I'm pronouncing these names wrong, but Vati from the Four Swords and Minish Cap. So, um, equip Rock's Feather and use, um, you can either use um, Boomerang to defeat in one hit, but I don't want the challenge to end so early, so I'm going to use the arrows. You have to hit um, his eye 15 times, and um, I think I've already hit it twice. I've not really been watching because I've been reading, well not reading, I've been... Um, because I jilted down um, most of the research and whatnot, um, I wanted to write something down. Just to, um, the boss's names, basically, I wrote down. So yeah, um, with that done, we're going to just finish the game. Alright, there we go, shoot. Yeah, as you can tell, it's a bit, um, judging from me doing that um, and saying what I said, it's pre-recorded. In case you didn't know. But yes, um, let's just jump, keep attacking. I don't think we would need the life potion, um, because um, we've got all the... Um, hearts we need and we've um, got the blue tunic so yeah we should be fine just equip rocks forever and keep jumping right there we go oh we got two hits on him it's getting faster because you know he's dying so the more you hit him the faster he gets and you just gotta keep jumping right but yeah it's gonna be a bit of a distraction there we go i think that's 10 hits now and that's 11 i think that's 11 hits i gave it so let's see um just keep jumping jumping Twer oh look that's 15 actually We've beat him, so that's excellent, so I'm very happy with that, but let's read what he has to say, because we've got to beat him. This island is going to disappear. Our world is going to disappear. Our world. Our world. No! And he's gone. That is it. That is Link's Awakening. But first, we need to talk. Link. You have beaten all the nightmares. Climb the stairs before you. What stairs? I don't see. Oh, hello. <laughs> Alright, so now we need to climb up the stairs. But 
Are these stairs trustworthy? I don't know. We are going to hesitantly walk, and now the game's controlling for us, so Link's clearly walking up. Okay. Oh, wow. This is quite something. Look at it. Looks beautiful too, actually, if you ask me. Right, what's going on? Oh, hi, Owl! Hoot, young lad. I mean, Link. Yes? The hero. You have defeated the nightmares. You have proven your wisdom, courage, and power. Ellipses, ellipses, ellipses. As part of the Windfish's spirit, I am the guardian of his dream world. But one day, the nightmares entered the dream and began wreaking havoc. Yeah, of course. And we stopped it. Then you, Link, came to the rescue. The island, I have always trusted in your courage to turn back the nightmares. Thank you, Link. My work is done. You mean my work is done? The windfish will wake soon. Goodbye. Boot. See ya, Owl. It was nice seeing you. And the Owl disappears. Oh, hello! Introducing the windfish. Ellipses, 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 ellipses. I am the windfish. Long has been my slumber in my dreams. An egg appeared and was surrounded by an island with people, animals, an entire world. But verily it be the nature of dreams to end. When I dust awakened, Koholint will be gone. Only the memory of this dream land will exist in the waking world. Someday thou may recall this island. That memory must be a real dream world. Come, Link. Let us awaken together. Sure. I don't see why not. Well, yeah, it's time to awaken. Play the eight instruments. Play the song of awakening. With pleasure. Look at that. There's uh, Bow Wow, there's Lily, and there's the cat, and the other baby. There's the kids playing the ball. They're going to disappear soon and become obsolete. And there's the beach where we woke up. And there's Taryn, who still wants to play with mushrooms despite what happened to him, turned into a raccoon. And there's Marin singing the ballad of the windfish. And now Koholint Island, as the windfish said, because it was a dream, it's going to disappear. Bye, Koholint Island. What's going to happen to us? Oh no! Ah! Look at Link, he looks so cute. <laughs> I love that expression he's making as he's spinning around. That looks pretty awesome. Okay. So Koholin Island's disappeared. And where are we? Well. Last time we were... Um, well, we were in a dream. So we woke up in the bed. But now we are waking up here. I'm surprised Link still has a grip despite him sleeping. He's got some strong grip for him sleeping. Link, you're going to catch a cold. You probably have one already, knowing you, because you've been sleeping in the water for God knows how long. But Link has awakened. Link's awakening. And now he sits on the log of his um, broken ship. And now he's looking at the sky. I wonder what Link will see. Hey, wait, it's got dark. He looks up at the sky. And there's the windfish. I think only Link can see that anyway, because there's nobody around except Link. Wow, that's that's his expression. Oh, look at that smile! And that is it, folks. That is literally it. I think the staff credits will come very soon. There we go. 1998. Oh god, it's glitchy. 1998 staff. Takashi Tezuka. What an amazing game this was. 1993, yeah, it had its fair share of glitches and then they remade it on the Game Boy Color in 1998. 
and it still had its fair share of glitches. I mean, I could have gotten the um, seashell sword very easily, actually. Instead of collecting all 20, I could have literally cheated and used the magic powder and threw it at the wall. So in the place, um, you know, in the place where you present the seashells and get five, you can just throw the um, magic powder in the wall and then it will just keep um, spawning seashells and then you can um, get the gift very easily. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to get it naturally, as you can see what I did, just like um, a lot of things. So I believe I 100% of this game to an extent. I would say to an extent because I didn't take all the pictures, but that is minor. Taking pictures in this game, you don't have to do it. So, in terms of finding the seashells and finding all the heart containers, yeah, I believe I 100% in this game. And I'm very proud of myself, actually. I found as much treasures as I can and whatnot, but yeah, I can say I'm pretty proud of myself because, um, I gotta admit, um, when I was younger, I didn't 100% this game, and obviously I died. But um, as I got older, I probably um, learned how to beat this game and find everything. But again, this is my first time playing it in over a decade, and I'm pretty proud of what I've done. I still remember this game, and um, it took me a while to remember the map layout and whatnot. But after a while, when you get used to it, it becomes easy. And I'm glad I defeated this game. Um, Link's Awakening, does it hold up well to this day? Um, I believe it does. But a lot of people are playing the Nintendo Switch version. See, conveniently what I did, I played the old version while the um, everyone was playing the Switch version. So while everyone was uploading that, I was uploading this one. Um, I don't regret it because um, I already started a project in hand. But yeah, I'm pretty happy that I did. And to this day, um, the adventure is amazing. The humor is funny here and there. The challenge is there as well. And um, everything is there. The end. But yes, um, let's check quickly before I continue talking. That just confirms I got the good ending, because Marin is there. Um, to an extent, it doesn't really matter if you don't get Marin. You're still going to get the same ending. If you just don't die, that is, you get Marin showing up at the background, copying what you do, which is smile. But yeah, I like that. The development team would like to thank you for playing. And I would like to thank the development team for making this game, because... Um, this was actually one of my first handheld, well, this, yeah, this was one of my first handheld games, um, when I got the Game Boy Color, anyway, this was actually it. When I got the Game Boy, it wasn't, but when I got the Game Boy Color, I had this game, because, um, the first one was sold out, so I could only get this one, which is cool. But as I was saying, um, it has its challenges, it has its great adventure, and for a Game Boy game, I think it's a fantastic game, and, um, I'm gonna give this game a solid 9 out of 10. Especially considering the limitations of the Game Boy at the time. It did very good. So, um, for me, I definitely will give it a 9 out of 10. Especially for the limitations the Game Boy had. And, um, I think they did pretty well with it. Personally, for me, anyway. I don't know about you, but I think this deserves a 9 out of 10. For me, anyway. Because of the fact that it's on the Game Boy. And it stands out very well. And, um, because of the limitations, like I said, it took a lot to just make this game what it is. And... I'm grateful that they remade it, actually, into the Switch. But that's enough from me. Next project will be a sci-fi game, so stay tuned for that. And there will be a side video of me stealing. Anyway, this is Samurai TX signing out. Until next time, guys, see you in another Let's Play. Goodbye.